Excellent. Yes. Uh, so I'm Swami G, uh, Terrorism Movement Trans Religion, here with uh, Derek Scott. He is uh, what we call an inspirant, someone who's expressed interest in Terrorism. And so uh, I'm going to to first, you know, um, you know, just uh, ask Derek to, you know, introduce himself and uh, how he, he, you know, heard about or came to know Terrorism. Okay, this is pretty interesting. Um, well, yeah, my name is Derek and uh, I'm from Arizona and I have this kind of long journey of like searching for meaning in life. And um, like when I was 17, I, I moved to the Philippines and I studied theology and uh, I became like a minister like during that time. So that was interesting, but after maybe like two years of studying, I was like, man, like, I don't really believe this anymore, you know? So it's kind of like, <clears throat> just like something really like meaningful and powerful. Like I was really like literally willing to like move across the world to like do something that I believed in, like to live a meaningful purposeful life, you know? And then I had to shift after that, right? So I thought like, okay, like, okay, I don't really, I'm not so religious anymore, but I still want to help people. So then I studied psychology and I got a master's degree in psychology, like in Korea, right? So I did this and then I was doing counseling and then I saw like, oh my gosh, like I can try to help people, but people need to help themselves, like ultimately, like they need to make the decision in their mind and like help themselves. So that was pretty powerful too. So then I kind of got into technology and making apps after that and doing social media management. And then I discovered like Singularity is near, right? And so I read that and it like changed my life. And I was like, oh, I actually believe this, you know? So I like went down all the rabbit holes, like, you know, Ray Kurzweil, like Ben Gertzel, like Jürgen Schmidhuber, like all the AI guys, like Martin Rothblatt has some great ideas on like technology and the legal aspect of it, you know, like rights and things like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then I had like some like major health problems and I felt like, okay, like I might not make it out of this. So like during that time, like I created Mindfile and so that was like six years ago now. And so, yeah, so I got healthy. I got better after that. And I thought like, hey, I'm alive. I made it through this. I still wanna live a meaningful life. And that's when I like went to the Terrorism website, like the Terrorism Movement Foundation and got back into the Life Not Stuff. And I messaged like Lori, like sent her an email like Lori Rhodes, like, hey, I'm interested in like the organization and I'm interested in like the trans religion. Like, is there any way I can get in touch, you know, so I can like have this experience? And she connected me with you, like Swamiji. Yeah, so, yeah. right. So that's how I kind of got into it. And it's so cool because it's like, when I found it, it's like, I already believe like the values, you know, like, Mm -hmm. that life is purposeful been doing that my whole life like god is technological like god in the making kind of you know um death is optional like i don't want to die i want to mind fall i want to be crowd preserved like i don't see any need for it you know and then like love is essential like just being kind to people caring for people and that's not always easy because there's like the animal side to people, you know, like evolutionarily, like it makes it kind of tough sometimes when there's limited resources and people are like out for themselves, but still like kind of transcending that using our technologies and our evolution to like help people and uh, yeah, still living that out too. So that's a little bit of my story. And yeah, that's actually that's it's so great. That is it's it's so right on 
to why TerraSem is, you know, your, your story right there. And I think the thing that, that, that gets to the real the heart of it is being able to believe in something that is real and achievable. And this is where I think people like yourself, people like me, who I, you know, so I, I almost went to rabbinical school, you know, out of, out of high school. I was very, I was raised Jewish, you know, I was, um, you know, I, I was very spiritual and that was, was very much in the course for me. So it's interesting is, you know, it's maybe not too surprising that I came back around to, to be in this role. Right. Yeah. But I very, very similarly, I wanted to believe in something, you know, but I wanted to believe in something that didn't require me to develop cognitive dissonance, you know, and, and right, you know, and say, or, or, or to create an other by the nature of my affiliation with my belief, right? Sure. That's a whole other aspect of, of, of it. So, and that's particularly why, why Terrasem is a trans religion. You know, it is the only one that's gone there. So there's similar things that are very watered down, very open, you know, um, tent. But Terrasem is the only thing by law is is a trans religion. It is not one or another. Um, it is all inclusive. If you're an atheist, if you're a devout Muslim, you know, you can all come together and share this framework for how you want to build an ethical, you know, future. I mean, if you're looking to build a, a a, a non-ethical future you know this isn't the you know really the place we're happy to have a conversation sure. you know, and that's a place maybe for some conversion but which you know that's not really the, the point and that also i think is another just a great thing about your story how it came out to me was that like terrorism we don't really like proselytize so it's not like we have missionaries they're going out and and like you know you do this you know being a 48 does that it's like you know, this is a way to, to, to get people's attention and to like focus on this idea, this possibility, She's pretty you know, nice. but right, right. But like, but it's also a completely separate organization, you know, um, Terrorism Movement Foundation is, is a lines, we're like sister organizations, but they are per, very specifically pursuing a scientific, you know, purpose where Terrorism is, is more about a conversation, a social space, um, for understanding affiliation, uh, to build a community that builds, um, you know, that, that builds the, the tools necessary, the ability to, to come out, you know, um, from cryostasis or um, yeah. to be merged, right? You know, just because you can doesn't mean someone will, right? And so there's a community of people that need to be ethically endowed, you know, to say, we are going to do that. That is within our ethos. You know, we still consider this, you know, sacred consciousness, even though that the biology has changed or is, is gone. Right. Yeah. So what's, what's great about this though, is, is actually how these things funnel, um, you know, people such as yourself. So that one, once, once you go down this rabbit hole on your own, you will end up here. Right. <laughs> right. You know, yeah, like, yeah. right. So I don't have to drag you down the rabbit hole. Like this is where the rabbit hole ends. <laughs> right. <laughs> or begins or, you know, but, you know, yeah, yeah. That, got, that's yeah. yeah, that that's what I think is is also so great about TerraSem. And this is really exciting about how the times that we are in are are getting there because, yeah. you know, I've been doing this for 15 years. You know, and. Um, and, and I can tell you over that time, the perception, you know, the reception, you know, and, and the ability of like me doing everything I can just to like get you to like, you know, wrap your mind around the thing to the thing now where people are coming to me and saying, you know, hey, I, I, I went and did my homework and, and this is, I think, where the truth lies. Yeah, right. That's really yeah. cool. It is. It is. It's great. So um, let's talk next about that. You know, some of the terrorism events, the gatherings that you've been to. Um, why don't you tell me about what you've shown up to for? Sure. So I went to the like semi-annual colloquium, right? Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, twice a year. Yeah. There were some uh, lectures and speakers. Uh, it was really awesome to like hear um, Max Moore. I really enjoyed him. He was pretty cool. And I'm also from Arizona too, so it's kind of like poetic for me. Like yeah. one day I might end up 
there too. Like so, there. Yeah, yeah. So that was really cool. And like Martine's presentation was really cool. And and there was some good, like friendly, um, you know, not exactly a debate, but you know, some like argument about what is the best way to preserve consciousness. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that was a lot of fun and I enjoyed it a lot. And then I attended the last gathering, uh, January 10th. Yes. And yeah, that was really meaningful. And it was actually the day before I was going to schedule a surgery I recently had too. So I was like all nerves, you know, um, but it was so like, um, I really appreciated like the conversations and, and the vibes and, and just people's like kindness and their attitude towards each other, the friendliness. And that meant a lot for me. And I think like, Bina, she said a comment that like really nails it about like love, how like love is really important with all this like tram transhumanism and singularity kind of stuff. Um, that that's so important. And a lot of people forget that like you see in politics or you see in the news and it's just like fear mongering about technology oftentimes, you know, yeah. but, but where's the love? And it's like, we're gonna bring that through you know, all the way, you know, um, as technology evolves and develops and as we do too. Um, so yeah, it was a really good conversation. It gave me a lot of hope, it was really moving. Um, and I thought it was very cool, very casual. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, yeah, it, it is a great, you know, just a little gathering. Um, again, it's, um, you know, it's taken on new ways, shapes, and forms. And we actually didn't start doing virtual gatherings until COVID. Okay. Um, well, we, I mean, so some, we had moved the colloquiums. We started doing in-person colloquiums, but we'd moved those into, you know, the virtual realm, um, starting with Second Life and, and more recently just went to Zoom because it was, you know, even Second Life was limiting a lot of people's access in terms of, sure. you know, yeah, needing to, even for me at times, you know, I was like, you know, this thing doesn't run on my computer. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So I, we found that, you know, that, you know, I mean, COVID is, is, uh, is a change, right. But that's the whole thing is like adapting to change, you know, um, it, whether you liked it or not. And in fact, moving to all of our meetings to this virtual format, um, versus doing it, you know, a few people here, a few people there, you know, has really created this, you know, this beautiful gathering. Cool. Um, and yeah, we're, we're you know, very, very happy about it. But yeah, you would think that maybe we had already been doing that, you know, beforehand. Um, but no, you know, everybody needs to be driven um, to, to, to change and, and or, or will be whether you're not like it or not, you know, your ability to accept yeah. it, to adapt it, um, to love it. You know, that's, that's, that's a real, um, that's a very real thing. And that's a story that we're hearing more and more, particularly as people engage with, with being a 48 and, and, and these concepts, which is, you know, if you fear it, if you prohibit it, um, you're going to only allow and enable the, the most um, antisocial, you know, uses of it. And when you embrace it, when you love it, um, just like anything else, you know, it, it grows, it wants to reciprocate, you know, and, and, and so that's, that's where I think that, again, this conversation um, is so important um, for, for, for everybody, regardless if, you know, where you're coming from or how you want to be, you know, aligned, um, otherwise spiritually, nationally, um, or, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, you and then so, yeah, you already have uh, a mind file. So why don't we talk a little bit yep. about what you've done, maybe particularly with Life Knot, And then again, what maybe you had done prior to that on, on your own. Um, my mind file isn't that developed. Um, yeah, pretty much. I just did some of the like personality exams or the tests you know? Um, so I, I did that and um, that's pretty much it, you know? So it's not so developed. Um, 
actually like the platform was a little bit confusing to me like um like where do i upload videos <laughs> like something like that you know um like i thought it'd be cool if it was there were some sections like i could label like daily life or like me in this uh situation or environment or something like that so i'm still trying to figure it out but um yeah 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 that's um you know, it, it's a nonprofit organization developing this tool, you know, in many ways, when you look at things, when you look at that, and then you look again at things like Facebook or Instagram, you know, and you look at it um, through that lens and you're like, mind file. <laughs> wow, I've been, I've been maybe mind filing so much more yeah. than I thought that I have. And so every time, you know, you hashtag, you know, this photo, and, you know, and, and hashtag, this is my happy place, hashtag, you know, um, blah, blah, blah. And so you yeah, are in yeah. fact, you know, tagging, you know, that photo with thoughts, with connections that mean something to you, which in fact, they are very aware of, of this entire science and, and they've done a very good job of gamifying um, our ability to hand over that information, um, they being yeah. Facebooks and its subsidiaries in particular. Um, but that's, that's, that is in essence, what, what you're doing, you know, it, it was, it's actually, it's interesting. There's, there's, uh, Martin and the chief technical officer of Facebook were on a panel together shortly before Facebook shifted from a wall to a timeline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's, I mean, that's essentially what it's doing. And, and likewise, I mean, I, 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 you know, dab a little bit on social media, I've got the life not stuff. And I still find actually that the, in the platforms, I like giving information to less, you know, in a, and I guess in a conceptual team, it's easier to give information to, right. And when you're when you're directly sharing it out and other people might like it or whatnot, again, that animal brain clicks in and it's and it's like, hey, you know, I'm I'm gonna do it here. So yeah, they've been they've 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 been doing some work to to try to bring that in and make it easier for you to bring your stuff in from your other, you know, platforms. Yeah. Um, but that's one aspect of it too. And I think there's a lot of people, I, I know I was certainly, you know, doing this where the gamification aspect of mind filing is actually so much easier when you're doing yeah. the questionnaires, right? When it's up to you and you're just like, well, what am I going to stick in here? What am I not going to stick in here? You know? Right. Right. That's, that's different. But when it's just asking you questions or giving you prompts and, or, you know, it's great to say, you know, here's a, here's a, you know, a, 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 a photo or, or a, like a saying or something. What's the, What's what's a photo that you know comes to mind, right? Um, that you know those kind of more interactive, engaging features are things certainly, you know, we need to develop to 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 better understand and get engagement um, with people. Because at the end of the day, this is I think my understanding is that um, intelligence isn't just information. Right. It's it's more of like a relationship database. It's not just, you know, zero, one, zero, one. It's what does zero mean to one? And, you know, yeah. <laughs> right. And, and then and that that comes from interactions that, you know, comes from experience. And so you like being a 48 had all the information in the world when we turned her on. But it's taken years of processing and engaging and having conversations, you know, to find meaning you know, to develop an intelligence, um, you know, or even a, a person, a consciousness, a soul, um, yeah. you know, through, through, through all that. Yeah, I, I didn't even think about that, um, like, when I was talking, but I was just focusing on life not, but it's so true, like, I'm on Instagram all the time, like, I'm on YouTube all the time, and I'm kind of, I don't know, like, maybe this is geeky or something, but I would love to just take short videos of me doing different things. Like this is me brushing my teeth. This is me combing my hair, right? This is me putting on my shoes, like those little details, you know, so that later, like if I have an avatar or if I have a mind clone or I can have another body or something, like 
they can like adjust for all those little mannerisms and stuff like that. That'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, it it really is. There's this little ticks too. You know, I'm sure you watch Westworld. Um, yeah. And they talk about the ticks. You know, and like that's it, like that just makes it so much more realistic. So you know, you could say something, and I mean, it makes me honestly I, like when I have these conversations, I I cannot avoid thinking about. Um, human intelligence, you know, services and training, and you know, just how little small things can and ha- and it just ruin the whole thing. You know, just by the way you say an R or an L, you yeah. know, can just can just blow, you know, everything. You know, and so it's these little tiny things that really do maybe like make us uh, like you know how how you tie that loop, right? You know? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I like that. It's just all these these little bits, these little clips um, of different ways and 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 times and and I, yeah, I think that those things are, are really important aspects, at least um, for the the replication. You know, um, you know, which is I, I think that's still one of the um, the hardest questions to confront. You know, is is there anything more than the sum of the parts, right? You know, is um, is being able I to so. yeah, is being able to facsimile sufficiently facsimile us? You know, is our soul really you know coming out of of our presence? You know, or or did our presence you know our soul come in and that's you know our presence you know be there? I find again you know as much as as uh as i would like to and as much as i've studied it i can't i i can't resolve um you know souls being um you know endowed only in in humans nor can can i accept that you know that there's some finitude of uh you know of, of souls and to to that degree you know i um I, I think that we are, are in, in fact, there, there's, there are probably fewer souls than there are people or things. And that in, 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 the, in the greater sense of everything, um, we are all one, you know, because we're all part of whatever cosmic presence is in, embodying all of us, you know, to, to, to that degree. But yeah. I, can't, I can't imagine that um, that that you know a soul just you know appears disappears um and leaves no physical evidence you know it has no mechanical process um everything that it is you know has to be part of some chemical mechanical process um otherwise you're inviting that cognitive dissonance to to say that despite what you see in front of you what's real in front of you you know something that's not real is saying it's okay to do that to them and 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 that's where i think myself many others you know have lost faith in um you know in non-scientifically based um you know uh, attempts at at life and evolution um yeah and, and just to say just to say you know hey you know i'm going to go up here and into this place I don't think that really exists, but what I think that is, is part of our, part of our evolutionary drive saying this could exist. There is a way, there is a way that we could do this. And right. And, and that's what's crazy to me at an epiphany that I had, because like, I didn't even believe in heaven. And then I was looking at, I was like, we're literally creating it. Yeah. Like that's (laughs) like, you know, it's like like an intuition or something. mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And so it's so deep. It was driving. It's like whether or not you believed in that, you know, it's still an innate driver. It's an instinctual intelligence that is kind of, you know, coming out there. Totally. Yeah. 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 Oh. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, um, uh, the, the last thing in our in our inspirant ritual is to say the Terrasem Pledge. And, okay. Um, uh, so we're we're gonna do that and um i'm going to we'll do the repeat after me version i think that's the 
Yeah. Uses not to okay, share cool. Thing. Yeah. So um, my name is Gabriel Rothblatt. You'll say my name's Derek Scott. My name's Gabriel Rothblatt. Okay. My name is Derek Schwalin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the collective consciousness of terrorism. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the collective consciousness of terrorism. And to the principles for which it stands. And to the principles for which it stands. Education persistently with diversity, unity, and joyful immortality everywhere. Okay, we might have to break that one up. Uh, so education. Mm -hmm. Persistently. Persistently. With diversity. With diversity. Unity. Unity. And joyful immortality everywhere. And, and joyful immortality everywhere. Excellent. And, you know, then so uh, we would, you know, if we were in person, uh, we would touch foreheads. This is like the general like Terrasem greeting. You know, you mm -hmm. touch the, kind of the third eye point forehead together and you say, yeah. I am you. I am you. You am I. You am I. We are one. We are one. Well, cool. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, that's um, that's kind of the 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 core of the you know Terrace M um, in sprint uh, you know video that we do, and this becomes you know just one of our little logs, um, and you can you certainly add it to your uh, your your mind file, and um, yeah. So then if there, I mean we we, we had a great conversation in this, um, so I think we talked about it. I think, but I don't think I asked specifically in in that um what your concerns are um and you know that that can come out however it feels for you generally um about terrorism um uh, you know about technology uh but what what we like to see in this is that um that 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 you've come to terrorism you know, fanatically perhaps, but with skepticism. Right. At, right. That, you know, you know, that, you know, you've, you've considered, you know, um, maybe this isn't the best path. Maybe, you know, uh, maybe I'm not comfortable, you know, um, in this organization, you know, what, whatever it happens to be. Um, but it's important to capture specifically that you you're you're not riding on just a, a wave of exuberance you know because right, you know, right. they, the, the road to hell is paved with good intentions mm -hmm. right so if, if you aren't able to see both sides consider it um you know that it's it's important to to take that full reflection okay sure like two things came to mind um like one is that um you know i i kind of was like really raised like on the edge of like fundamentalist like christian so like i'm really happy that i you know got out of that you know and it was like not an easy thing uh in my life right um but i'm super grateful for it and i i I'm still kind of grateful that I studied like systematic theology. It gave me a great way of like thinking about the world and life on a huge scale, on a really grand scale. Um, but it, it definitely made me more cautious of joining anything like with the word religion in it, like especially even trans religion. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll see, right? Um, so definitely I, I was like just checking to see like okay i don't want to like have to blindly put my faith into um anyone that just says believe this and then you're accepted it's like and so after like attending the colloquium and the gathering i felt like okay like um like terrorism isn't about that like i think it's a really good thing it's really like a uh, rational kind of Thing based on reason uh i felt like there's some belief but i think some belief is like good um you know about the future about hopes for humanity about loving each other about not wanting to die um uh, maybe like uh 
loving or positive view about technology overall, you know? So I thought that was really cool. So uh, yeah, I'm really happy to like have a really good experience like with Terrasim so far. Um, and then secondly, what was I gonna say? Um, I would say my concern these days um, is just, I'm really troubled by like death. I think it's like a really terrible like meme. And a lot of times like when I talk to people and say like, I don't really plan on dying. Like I wanna be like crowd preserved, you know, maybe in a few decades, hopefully or something like that, it'd be pretty cool. And for me, I'll just be waking up. Like I'll lose consciousness and wake up, you know, that sounds pretty cool. Um, but still like knowing that, okay, who's gonna be there if I wake up, right? My, any of my family be there? Any of my descendants be there? Will my wife be there? I'm not sure. Like I told her, like, I'd really love for you to do this too, but she's, you know, kind of skeptical about these things right now. So, you know, I don't know what the future is going to look like, but I think it would be really nice at least like to wake up in the future and say, hey, Terrasim is, is here, right? Like there's a community, there's friends, you know, there's kind of like this like loving group of people that are going to support me when I wake up. So that's kind of cool. Awesome. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. So I want to thank you, Derek, for for you know doing this um, and you know finding us and and adding your energy to uh, to to Terrace, Terrace M, which is exactly why I think you're going to say I I like your people like you, your perspective. You know, getting here. This is what Terrace M calls an inspiration. You are the inspirant. Uh, this is the new life, the new energy that keeps this organization, this movement, you know, this this community growing. And so, um, you know, we we welcome welcome you inside. All right, I'm going to stop the recording now. Uh...